All right, it is whew, 418 on this eighth day of May 2021, and I am the Grumpy Game Dev, and this is Rebooter Explore. And today, doing it for as long as I can, and wearing the I Have to Poop shirts. It's time to soil our trousers. Going in and checking that I've got all the stuff I ought to have and make sure that my audio output is hooked up correctly. There we go there. So then, we have a, we have a couple things. One, we have to have a concept of soiled trousers. There we go. And that makes it item number 12. Item 12. Soiled trousers. We'll leave it. Uh, there's take soiled. Which ID is going to be soiled trousers. Well, you know what? Take, tra take soiled trousers. Look for the trousers I can. Okay. And we have a darker brown than this. We do. Soiled trousers. That's right. There's going to be 32. Go. And soiled trousers. Show and folder. Rename you. Soiled. You. Bust you here. Where's my items? Let's open that. And. And. Open that. It's crazy. There's a lot of brown in this game. Right on. Okay. And we don't actually need that one anymore. Good times. Right. Get to it. And then here in Avatar, I have trousers, but I also need soiled trousers. So, there we go. <laughs> okay, 
got to do, have to do a sprite. Sometimes, sometimes this is, this game and its silliness gets to me. So item soiled trousers. Add 32 to that to be 128, and that'll be where that is. Is that the correct item? Item is. Oh, that's image ID. Okay, we're gonna go over to our POV. And where's the one for trousers? Turd. <laughs> trousers. So image ID soiled trousers. There's item soiled trousers. Take soiled trousers and take soiled trousers. That should do it in exactly the same spot. Two different items, exactly the same spot. Oh. All right then. Online place app where I can keep ideas for a project. And, uh, online place app where I can keep ideas for a project or progress. There's um. There's GitLab. There's GitLab. There's GitHub. GitLab works. Of course. Of course, they're not available right now. Are you here? Oh, they're updating their database, but you can read about them here. You have GitHub, but I'm talking about GitLab. GitLab is there. I can't show you because they're they're in the middle of an outage, but a lot of my stuff is on GitLab. If you have GitHub, then then uh, do that. Or you could also do a hack and plan if you just want the idea part and not the code. Hack and plan is good for that. Copy link. Yeah, hack and plan. GitHub and Git GitLab are similar. They both have Git repositories, and they both have CI/CD stuff. Um, I like, I wish I could show you the work. I like the work items better in GitLab because GitHub does have the little tickets system and whatever. And of course, for this project, I'm trying this instead. Otherwise, otherwise you'd see me doing this in GitLab. So, where does pooping occur? So, okay, that's what kind of questions. What kind of questions do I wind up wind up asking uh, the metadata? Soiled trouser images and graphics are in. Left, turn right, poop. Okay, so where are all the places where poop is called from? I'm gonna go bull accidental. Uh, 
Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay, so if we do an area of poop, then false. It's not an accident. Turn poop. Handle bowel. There we have it. There we have it. Now we've got poop and whether or not it's accidental. Now, if accidental, then if wearing trousers, change them into soiled trousers. So, how do I determine game avatar items? Nope. Items. How do I get well, how many items I how do I get how do I get that? Game world I don't know game world items, I want game avatar items. Game avatar items. Make sure that this is in the place. Yeah. Let's go to poop. Poop. Okay, so let's pin that one down. And I need, oh, I do need my my avatar avatar descriptor my descriptor let's go to the descriptor go to you for the definition int soiled trousers item id right on be the soiled trousers soiled trousers because the definition of you s for soul e equals soiled trousers uh -uh. <coughs> Soiled trousers. All right, and so then over here, back, back in the function called poop. If game avatar items read, um, I need a descriptor. So, descriptor, let's get the descriptor right, so I get the descriptor. Yeah, okay. Descriptor dot trousers.
Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so if, the, if I have some of those. So then game avatar items add how about remove descriptor trousers game avatar items add descriptor dot soiled trouser items so in any case <clears throat> oh how many just one just one <sighs> and so now the to now it soils the trousers. We'll we'll take it through there in just a minute. But what I want to do is I want to put that into here. This is going to be an else if soiled trousers. And you pooped your pants. <laughs> uh, that was funny. Exit. And you poop your pants. <laughs> you pooped your pants. <laughs> oh, good times. This is what a what a what a tremendously great game. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, which one's disgusted? Kinet kinet creatures. Where is it? Okay. Ugh. So three. So okay, so over here in my creatures. Bribes, attitudes, six eight. It's basically any time. Not bribes, attitudes, 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 attitudes. We'll change all those, but so right now it's when you drop your soiled trousers. So you got that already dead. Uh, poop trousers on, suddenly there are soiled trousers. That's what I'm working on. I don't know about that. So, so this will be. So let's let's give it a shot. But for now, let's our items. So much bowel in food. We're just gonna put eat two food and then you have to poop we'll set that back to 10 in just a minute after we have tested 
soiled trousers. Okay, come on. You can do it. It's gonna work. Start new game. Where's that? We're gonna take the food. And we're gonna eat the food. And now bowels at fifty. That bells at one hundred. <clears throat> okay, there's the poop. We now have so oh goes off the screen. Hmm hmm hmm. Hmm. Now. <clears throat> Still correct. And then let's see if I drop that. There they are. Pick them up. Soil trousers. Sure, sure can. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so that works just fine. Nope, not 100. Ooh, that'd be fine. Maybe 25. You know what? Food making you making you poop 25. I think that's for food, and then you have to poop. That just makes sense. My timeline of the game is uh, I'm in the part where I'm adding back canceled features, but I might either. It is on adding the canceled feature because this was a jam game. And this jam game, um, it was a seven day jam, blah, blah, blah. And it's been long since that jam. Actually, yeah, when did, when was that jam? And I said, okay, well, uh, during the course of the jam, I junked it up pretty bad. So what I did first was the milestone here, which was refactor the jam game, because it was the code was really, really messy. <clears throat> and now I'm adding back fe canceled features, and I put in some new, we came up with some new features during, during the time of adding back the canceled features. When did I first start the game? First starting the game. Um, where am I? It's on... Um, Booter get. So we'll take a look here. And, and if I go with my a lot of commits, look at that. Behold. So the very first one. things so uh, this was during the time of refat when was this when was the 
Okay, so the initial commit was on March 31st. So yeah, March 31st. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I commit a bunch of times. Oh no, there's only. Only got 346 commits. Three hundred forty six. Oh, for this year? Well, yeah. Well, okay. A lot of people don't commit because actually, right now is a commit time. I can soil my trousers. I could very easily have um, 10 commits a day. I can have 10 commits a day. Well, um, when do you commit? See, so what I've just done here is I went through and I got these and this part's done. So these three things, so there's really one, really two commits for that. So I don't even know about this one. And then there's another. Well, and that's your your approach to the approach to solving your project. Because uh, really, right now, uh, you I could say that what I've got in this game, well, is actually shipped, right? Because you can go here, you can you can go here, and you can you can get the game. That's the one from when was it? few days ago yeah two days two days ago the one that I one that I put up two days ago so it's it's released right um, so what stops you from completing uh, actually you're on Linux well oh. Um, it, yeah, it's not set up for CMake. It could be set up for CMake. I just haven't done so yet. <clears throat> and I may do so. But it's not my. You might be able to. Uh, it, there's not a whole lot. It might be playable. So now I'm on the spot. I'm not my part. But so you gotta ask yourself. You gotta ask yourself why aren't you completing your projects? I actually know why, it would, but it's important for you to know why you're not completing your projects. And I know the difference between why you're actually not completing your project and why you say or why you think you're not completing your projects. Because there are different answers.
Oh, there's a sewing machine. That's nice. Scroll. Let the tide scroll. Let's go to 256, shall we? Yeah, that's good. Let's go to foreground. Pretty part. That one. Look at yeah, that's fine. Like it. Why do you have to fully <clears throat> why do you have to fully grasp the current framework or language in order to complete a project? Because you don't. You can make a game a complete game without mastering oh, nope, not that one. Without mastering the framework you're working on. I don't I don't have modern not that one I want I don't have modern C++ mastered for example and yet I will write a game in it because I don't have to have it mastered because my ability to do something and why is your focus missing? What ruins your focus? things I'm a solo learner and I complete projects just fine so did you oops, see let's so it's 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 the non-existent guides fault that you can't get things done paste in a new layer there we go Image button. So have you looked for a guide? If you feel you need a guide. Have you found a guide? And if you if you if you lack focus, are there are there steps you could take to increase your ability to focus? Okay, so we're gonna make a new item. Okay, so you need you need to habituate or daily or pretty close to daily. Okay, 
well then you can take that step yep this is that's this is actually this is this is what I'm doing I uh, now sometimes I do work out a little bit outside of my stream but uh, the time from I've got a particular two-hour block that usually most of it sometimes a little bit more if I get up a little earlier that I dedicate to this I code this for at least typically two hours a day call it an hour and a half because there's all kinds of stuff that I'm like from talking to chat or whatever or playing the game so call it call it two hours a day on average that I do this um, and it's not well I also do write code as a course of what I do for a living but not very much matter of fact yesterday how much code I didn't write any code yes no it's not true no it is true I didn't write any code yesterday for my job Okay, so what are you going to be? I do have more or less a schedule, yes. About two hours a day. This is my regular time. This is my this is my sharpening the saw time. This is the time where I practice my my, my craft. day and then also there's the part about not um, this is the really really hard part streaming does help streaming helps with that's actually why the stream is good actually most of the time let's see what we got oh, we got two people uh, most of the time I will sit here coding all by myself or a lot of the time and some people put me on as background noise and they lurk because the sound of my voice makes it feel like there's somebody else in the room for them and that's great um, some people are active in chat some people are active in sometimes a little bit somebody comes in and go hey can you can you can you answer me a question I try to answer the question number appearing new about, about 18 of those I don't know where to put the prawn. Hmm. State POV. Sub state POV. Yeah, the stream is the rubber duck. <laughs> it, it totally is. Hello, Dragon Eye. Welcome. Or dragon. Dragon Eye. Or Drag One Eye. I don't know. However, however you say it. Dragon Eye. I'll call you Dragon Eye. What's Dragon Eye? Oh, with an extra E. Alright. Sure. Why not? Four. Okay, so why is 292 sort of? So 244. So I don't want the 324. Okay, so extra E for convenience. 260, 244. Nope. So 260. 228. I don't have room for anything else. This sucks. <laughs> you 
keys there, 196. Sixty four. Okay, so let's so one sixty four. So one thirty two was a you know, it wasn't taken the grumpy game dev. There's the grumpy gamer, and there are a couple other grumpy folks. I've met a number of the grumpy folks. 110. Ah, okay, I can do this over here by the Joker. Nope. Let's do this again. Joker, Joker. Image, image ID is Pron. Item Pron. Oh. And these are plus 32, so this will be 40, 42. I don't pay a lot of attention to what happens in the rest of the world. Sometimes things sneak down to me, but I don't pay much attention to what goes on. And I like it better that way, to be honest. By the time I learn of something, it means that, yeah, if once I know about something, then yes, literally everybody knows about the something. Okay, let's take a look at, let's give you a prawn right here. Hey, Josh, what is this? What have we got this garbage? Uh-huh. Well, you know what? There's not a whole there's not a whole lot to do in Nebraska. I've been to Nebraska. See what they really need. What they really need to do is to sell a non fungible token for the right to use the name Josh. That's see now that's your award is a non fungible token. <clears throat> All right. This may work. Okay, so now in my inventory, I've got a prawn scroll. We got soiled trousers. I don't want soiled trousers. What? Oh, did I give myself a lot of trousers? Did I do that for testing? Ah, okay. Don't need those anymore. Let's try this again. So we dropped a prawn. It did not appear. Sadness. Sadness. What is ID is pran take pran take pran? What's the stuff? Well, and 
that's why. Still no. There it is. But it's not showing what I do. Did I not do it right? <coughs> Did I give it the wrong net? Because I can pick it back up right here. Okay. So I'm not seeing it. Okay, thanks, Dragon Eye. You uh, have a day. You have whatever kind of day you're going to wind up having. I didn't put... <clears throat> I didn't put item prawn in here. Let's be 144. No, it's not 144. It's 160. And then, and then, yeah, whatever kind of day, have a day. Hey, ooh, what happened? What's well, our problem here? Item inventory, initial inventory, what? Interesting. <clears throat> well, you know what? So here's what I'm going <clears> to... <throat> uh, uh, okay, no. Visuals. Layouts. Visuals, visuals, layouts, initialize, layout, layout, game. This is a band aid. You and there it is. Pick it up. There it is. And now we find. Now we're gonna find which monsters can you bribe with a porn scroll. And the item number is 13. So let's go look at creatures. Bribes. Can the imp be bribed? Yes, yes he can. There's that. Can the troglodyte be bribed? Yes he can. Uh, brain tentacle, nope. Bully minion, yes sir. Evil bat, no. Evil minion, yes he can. And the werewolf cannot, and the wyvern cannot. Well, that'd be kind of funny, right? We'll leave it like this. No, that would not be a good idea for me. Let's start it. Let's go with a new game. I've got the brown scroll. Okay, I should be able to bribe him, right? Get brown. And he just leaves. So perfect. 
can bribe certain monsters with porn. That's right. Okay. And so you see, right here, right here, this is where I commit. I have added Pron to the game. The mother-in-law. Well, there's no reason this can be like, uh, Where'd my app, where'd my hacking plan, I need my hacking plan back. My app, the hacking plan. So that went all the way to done. So the trousers attack, attract wandering monsters. I don't think I want to necessarily to do that. No, we are cancelled. Which means that um, we're going to move this on. Move this on. I'm going to close that board. And there's all these things. So, I'm not staying. I still leave it open where I can add some more, um, more stuff. But I'm gonna move on to um, to looking at the game for polishing some of these features. And one of these, one of these things, right? One of the things that's here is just all of this stuff and all these places where I have to do this. And it's ridiculous, really, where I'm saying, nope, initialize the layout for the layout name. So just, you know what? Initialize all the layouts. So I think what I want to do is I don't want to initialize the layouts anymore. Visuals, layouts. So is there a start? Start function. Oh, wait, no, this is all the way down here. No, I sure don't. So, what happens? Well, you, you see, the purpose of committing is to go. I want to keep that code. I want that code is good, and then I want to be be free to experiment with new things and not have to worry about keeping them. So at any point, so right now I'm to, I am got a totally blank canvas of this is, anything I do here, if it's junk, roll it back. But I also don't risk keeping the stuff that I've proven that I like. So that's that's the key to, to effectively using, um, effectively using this stuff. A lot of people don't don't use it that way. A lot of people go days and days and days. Like, no, nah, that's a. Then also, what's, what's also really neat is that you wind up. Uh, you wind up with a really great uh, record of the things. Of what I do here, what I do here, what I do here, and I can take a look. Uh, and you know what? What did I change here? What did I change here to do that? And I go, oh, okay. It says then I can go and find things when I want to do something similar. So in my bootstrapper, draw. 
Like my dog's having uh, nightmares. There he is. So what's part? Okay, so somewhere in here I've got my data store for my layouts. Let's find all the references here. Find all references. So where does this come from? <clears throat> I think I want to avoid start here. I think okay, close every, close all that, all but this, and pin that. So visual layouts. I think I want a start function void start and we're going to keep you here and we're going to put you in my application bootstrapping area Pins initialize and do we have visuals wait those things are always a, always a little bit different. Start. Okay, those are all the starters. Okay, so then. Uh, data stores. Do I not have any visuals here that, are, that get started? That's interesting. Oh, it doesn't need to, but. Okay, well, maybe I don't need to. Maybe I just, and I, I don't need to initialize layout. Nope, I do. Okay, I'm going to start them. Visuals, layouts, start. Just give me a start function there. And we're going to do a void start. So we're going to grab out the data store. Through that, so we have four auto uh, layout in store. We'll just call it item entry in store items. I'm going to initialize layout entry dot key. So that's I'll just do it this way. Nah, it's fine. But this now becomes a static void. So we're gonna load all the layouts at once, then they'll be cached, then whenever whenever anybody needs it, it doesn't have to get lazy loaded. And now let's clean up the code because we just we just broke some stuff. That's not a member there. No, sure isn't. Don't need to do that anymore either. Don't need 
Ooh, don't need to do either of those. Do we get through the bottom? No, we're not done through the bottom yet. Don't need you. Don't need you. At least I don't think. Don't need you. Build it again. Because, yeah, I got, got through a lot of it. Got through a lot. No more band-aid. Take the band-aid off. Inventory that's full. The mini map. Are they gone? Are they gone? Full link. Yay. Okay, so we did that, and it doesn't work. Start a new game. Everything works all just fine because everything is loaded. Fantastic. Yeah, good. Um. All of the layouts loaded at the beginning of the application. Boom. That's good and done. So now new music. I kind of, so I'm, I'm waiting on the new music. So that's going to wind up going to, uh, that is going to then to the board. So can I uh and is it it's actually it's really it's audio sound. Music themes, this is also I need to be able to uh, Nope, that is programming. Hold on. That is better. That is programming. New music. Are you? You are. Nope. How are you? Oh, did I make you a. You a user story? No, I can I can do my sounds. Let's bring stuff around here. How are you ah oh, this is see this is a thing. So difficulty levels, do I care about difficulty levels? Meant to delete that one. Oh no. New music. Somebody else is making the music for it, so there's it, there's nothing I can do about it. Difficulty levels. I don't know yet. For creatures attitudes. I've done one of those. Okay, so I need to think about those. A mouse area mouse motion area handler. Maybe. <sighs> you know what though? You know what I haven't really looked at for a while is saving, saving and loading. 
So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at some things. And I go, okay, so we're gonna start. Start a new game. Pick up that. Go to here. Pick up that. And then we're gonna say, let's save the game. And then save it as here. Abandon the session. It just lets me abandon. That should that should say, are you sure you want to abandon the session, right? I start, I can continue the game from slot one, and I'm right back where I was. Save, and I can cancel without saving. But this should allow me, should do the, are you sure you want to abandon the game? Yeah. So it's a new game state. We'll make sure that I got nothing. Got nothing here, so we're fine. We'll just push that right on up too. All right. Let's take a look. Haven't added a new game state in quite some time. UI state. UI state is always application. UI state is here. Where? UI state. Load game, save game. We'll call you confirm abandon. And that's more or less the confirm quit. Uh, game. I'm actually take I make a new one. So it's gonna be state dot confirm abandon add new item be state state confirm abandon cpp. So that is the name of the thing. Yeah, more or less, it's the same as the confirm quit stuff. And that's state confirm abandon. Confirm abandon. Confirm abandon. And really, what we wind up doing is is doing a copy pasta of the exact same thing except that um so we'll do this okay And activate the item where is the if it's a yes. Static void. Uh confirm abandon. Static void cancel abandon. Without knowing exactly what we want to do yet. Let's do the cancel abandon and this will be the confirm abandon. thing.
Okay, so that, that means I need a a confirm quit. Okay, and this is more or less the same. I sure you want to abandon. And it's all the same. Menu ID, confirm. Areas yes, areas no. No and yes, confirm abandon, do the things. Right? So, might even that won't work. Will not work. So, the thing is, is when I'm in leave play, um, do not go to main menu. So when I confirm event, and that's when I go to the main menu. No, that's when I cancel the event. Yeah, no, I go to the main menu when I say, yep, I'm abandoning the game. When I cancel the abandon, then I'm going to go to the um, what happens over here? Leave play. Oh, I do enter game. All right, so that's enter game. We need common audio. So da 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 da. So that should work there. What what we want to do in when we're leaving play is let's not go to main menu. Confirm. Actually, go to confirm abandon. It's gonna be go to confirm abandon. Nope, abandon. Go to confirm abandon, and this one should be confirm. Abandon. Do do do. Build. Let's see if it works. Time to see if it works. Good work. code build code build code build 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 the code come on build the code oh the, the thing down there that I set up a long time ago Start new game. If I abandon the set up, what happened? What happened? I didn't put the layout. Mm -hmm. I didn't put the layout. Is it accurate? I don't even know if it's accurate anymore. Let me look. Oh yeah, that thing. That's there's a there's a doodad. Oh, four thirty. Yeah, that's wrong. I'm typically on by four. Oh, 
but I'm always on like by 4.30, it's true. So I suppose, even though I'm, I'm early many days, 4.30 is, actually today it was like 4.20, right? Yeah, something like that, 4, 4.18. Layouts, where'd my layouts go? Layouts, 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 there you go. Abandon. Abandon. Okay, let's see if it works. So let's go back and let's abandon the session. No, doesn't do the thing. So where am I at? It's just gone. <laughs> it's just. Oh, I didn't. I never started it. Mmm. 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 Didn't start it. I'm going to want... Oh, I need my states. Don't... Okay. It's been a while since I've done this. So I've forgotten. There's a state. Confirm. Abandon. So over in my location, state from abandon start. Never hooked into that stuff. All right, so let's try one more time. This might even work now. game. Ooh, bonk, 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 bonk. Just grabbing the stuff. Okay. Abandon the session. Are you sure you want to abandon? No, I don't want to abandon. Okay. Abandon the session. Are you sure you want to abandon? Yes. Yes, I do. Ta-da. Okay. Abandoning. The I can abandon the session. All right. I can confirm that I want to abandon a session. Boom. That's what I want to do. Okay. That actually wasn't even my wasn't even my thing. That's for overwriting a save slot, <laughs> which is which is a little bit different. So there's some other ones, <clears throat> but the thing is that uh, a couple things. One, if you're in Confirm quit. There's a couple of some. Okay, no, that's fine. Confirm abandon. <laughs> so it's application UI uh, go to UI state main menu. And then I don't need this nonsense. Ugh. So, okay, I set things like the mouse button of mouse motion handler. Let's go to the, let's go to how this is declared, or if not, let's go to the definition of it. So this has no concept. Oh. You know what, though? Okay. 
am I checked in here? And what's what's the difference? What did I do? Let's take a look. I, I just cleaned up some code, right? I just cleaned up. Cleaned up some code. So clean up a function with a UI state go to. Because that was smaller code and just as readable. That's the important thing. So. Okay, so there's that. But so, um, so, so we're good there. So what I want to do is tool find a good state for this. So how about the so about the um, not the start state main menu. Let's go with the main menu because what do we have here? So let's, so this takes a on mouse button up. Let's go with the, okay, we're gonna go with the on mouse motion handler first. We're gonna do this. <clears throat> All this does is it sets the current menu item to the area, right? What is area? Area is a set of strings. Do a static void on mouse motion in area, and this is just going to be a just a string area. So we're going to go on mouse motion in area. So we don't actually have any information about about what to do about anything else other than hey, grab the areas for this layout and dispatch it to to there. So what I want it to do though so I want a static std function that's a void that takes a thing a handle motion areas There's, oh, it's not, the, it's going to be for the layout. And then this is what gets passed to the Lambda, right? I'm going to return that and have to capture layout name because that's what this is going to be and done and one more thing and you're going to be a std function 
area handler. That's your void and std oh, no. const std string. Eh. That should be fine. Yep, yeah, that should be fine. And the area handler. So when this happens, we say if we take the layout name and we take the area handler, we go, all right, handle mouse motion areas, do that. So I should be able to make this work. Okay. Handle miles motion in area, layout name, and what's the name of the thing? On mouse motion in area. Oh wait, we don't have we don't have the lookup, or do we? No. So now we have, we don't have this function any longer. Don't need this. And let's see if it works. Not that. Okay, so it seems to still be working. So cool. Can we do a similar thing here? So this is a thing that I could put. This has nothing to do with this particular area. It does have to do with visuals. So if I take that, okay, let's, we're gonna leave it there for just a second, but we're gonna go over here to Add handler, go to the declaration, go to the definition, declaration. There's a little helper function, so I like this one. This is good. Put that in our application mouse motion. need visual areas. So we only need that there, put a semicolon there, get rid of the layout name and get rid of the handler. And we're going to actually do one better. This puts a this puts a coupling that I don't really like, but we'll do this first. So let's get rid of you. Maybe application mouse motion. Maybe 
that goes in the area. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. Yep, maybe that does. Maybe that is a better place for it. But first, we're going to see that does it work with me moving it where it goes. Yeah, you know what? I think I think that's a better place. Yeah. So let's start moving it. Visuals areas. Is fine. So I'm just going to go visuals areas dot cpp. Let's take that one. Let's move that because this way we don't need visual areas here. We don't care. Functional, probably need functional. So that's all fine. So we don't have it here. Give me a couple areas here because I'm wiring up the wrong thing. And particularly this one. That's right. It's visuals. There he is. So I suppose I can call it handle mouse motion, not handle mouse motion areas if I'm really thinking about it. Handle mouse motion. Let's build it and then it's going to build just fine, I think. Of course, it's going to rebuild a lot of things, but that's all right. So, we're doing. We'll do that. So, then we'll do that a little bit. Doing the mouse motion area handler so that I can remember. So, that's my, that's my context saver. So, probably also initialize right here. So, while I'm doing that, I should probably actually internalize with those, but whatever. Okay, so we can build, build one more thing. Start. Well, back. Okay. So it all works out. Dunk and dunk. Okay. 
good times. And then what it means is I have made the first thing main menu use an use a mouse motion area handler. So next I just have to make it make that work everywhere. Or or I also work on Also make this happen. Genso, what's going on? Morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Huh? -huh. You fished one. Well, there's a okay. Uh, what's it? I will share a link. Okay, and I get a get a link. Copy link address, is that it? Don't want to violate any. So there's there there are these guys I watch, right? And maybe you've maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't, but they're they're pretty funny. These guys are these uh, kiwis. The Kiwis and the Zealand. No, they, you don't like the double colon? You have to do them in C sharp. You just make them dots. C sharp just makes them dots. Good morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Huh? <laughs> now this is these are namespaces. So this is how you go to a sub namespace or to something inside of a namespace. Yeah, in in C if this was in C sharp, this would be visuals dot areas dot get is what it would be. And it would just be a function. Okay, I've got to go wake someone up, so I shall be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, and we're back. We're back. And my wife does not work this morning. She is having a lie-in. I told her, ah, you're having a lie-in. She's like, what does that mean? Because we're we're in Merca, where they don't have lions. In fact, when you say, "Are you having a lion?" they're wondering. They're they're wondering if you're talking about the animal. What? What does that even mean? So I explained it to her. I don't think she was impressed. You having a lion? <laughs> you having a lion? No, I'm not having a what? So for for anybody curious, the uh, uh, the phrase here, or in particular where I live, would be, "Oh, you're sleeping in." You're called. It's called sleeping in. You're not having a sleep in. You you are sleeping in. It's the verb, sleeping in. So now now we've got all that. Yeah, so, but we don't have the other term, is what I'm saying. It's like, I'm having a lion. So, like, it's... So, now... So, now... Do a static bool on mouse button up in area. I think I need the area. I think I want the area. Area. And do I do I care about anything else really? And this is going to be activate area return true. Yes, this is what goes on here. We're going to loop through here. It's for auto area and areas. I'm going to return false when this doesn't work. Okay, so if on mouse button up in area, area. return true which is more or less the equivalent functionality I think so there we are it's going to activate the item whatever item it is return true so I'm now going to make the thing it's not going to return a okay um auto this is in in C sharp land this is var kind of um auto the the ampersand thing is um, so in, in C sharp the concept of structs and classes are a little bit different so in when I when I auto this is going to give me a by value 
copy of whatever this returns. And the when I put the that on the end, it's going to be a by reference. So it's a reference to. So this is a copy. This is a reference. Yep. Now there's also there, there's more. There's sometimes more to it because there's const references versus not const references, and that just means you can't change it. But oftentimes we go well. Just give me a reference because I don't want to make a copy because copying is expensive. So if that helps. I'm going to handle mouse up. Put it just right here for the moment. Coming that. So I don't need that there. Don't need that here either. No, actually no. Um, the equal equal will call whatever operator, because you can overload all the operators in C++. So for like an int or whatever, equal equal does what it does for an int anywhere. But in the case of references, it... I'm not certain what it does for just other things, but generally speaking, uh, there will be, there's often a, an operator defined to go with it. And see, the reference is different than a pointer, <laughs> but I don't really use pointers. Well, I don't use pointers directly, it's kind of hidden. Because, as it turns out, a lot of people a lot of people get confused by pointers because it's a pretty easy thing to do. Yep, confused face indeed. Yes, because you can also pass it just by, but see the pointer is just a memory location and there's absolutely no way of type checking, making sure that the type is right. You just go, yeah, there's some part of memory. You can totally take my word for it that that's the thing that I'm telling you it's pointing to and it's not just some random piece of memory. Trust me. And that's how that's how most C code ever was done. Are going to be. And, yeah. No, it's just it's it's bytes. It's a it's me it's memory. It's just the bytes that are in the memory. However, it looks raw, naked bytes. Yep, that's it. Just it's just doobly doos. And what what is it? I don't know. It's, it's whatever it looks like. Or it's garbage. You don't know. No, the pointer is really just a number. So, okay, we can, we can do, do this. So I can do, so this is a pointer. Now, when this happens, there is, um, it's just an int star. That's how we do. That's how we do pointers. It's just a number. It's a I th think. And then we can say, well, that one's a that one's a null pointer. A null pointer is points to null, but really null pointer is the same thing as saying zero. So that's the beginning of memory, which we say that points to nothing. That is null. Oh, there's a dog that wants to go out. I think I have to take a dog out in a minute here. 
So I'll be right back after I take this dog out. Okay, and we're turning. But yeah, so that's that's a pointer, and then you you can. Uh, so if I have an int blah equals ten, I could say, well, I want it to point to ten, point to blah, and then you can do other things. But that's a C way of doing it, <clears throat> and that's the way you can do it. But don't. Because there are other ways to do all that and doing that will has a has an additional set of problems that we're we're uh, guarded from in more modern versions of the language we don't have to do it that way and we don't have to deal with all those problems so let's not ah <sighs> Return Okay, now we're gonna have a this thing and you are a layout name. Turn through. Otherwise, keep going through all of them until such time as you know, handle mouse button up, layout name, mouse button up in area. Yeah. What is your problem? Oh, 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 oh. And that's either there's a uint eight on that as well. We don't care. Because do it matter? It doesn't. So why do we have it? Let's go to here, go to the definition of that. 
Okay, let's go to him. Let go to the declaration of that. Yes. Okay, so it's bool, cats, common net, and a unit eight. So that's this is the key wrecked uh, thingy. Oh, it's not a void. It's bool. Yeah, that's my problem. Right. So now everything's okay there. I don't need this function anymore. And let's see if it builds. Pretty soon I'll be able to move, march this out to other other bits and other bits of mouse motion handling and mouse button up handling. Okay, there we go. There we run. And does it work? It does work. Okay, good. So next, so we have mouse button up handler. So we did that. Now we're gonna move it into the visuals dot area rather than where it is. So you're going away. You're going over here and the mouse button up yep okay we'll take the function signature put it here into areas we don't need parameter names because that's not what we need here So that's there, that's that, and I need to put a visuals colon colon areas colon colon in front of that guy. I'm going to build it, and it's going to work again, and then we can start to simplify some other things. Oh, and some of these can be simplified as well. Which group? Hold on. Let's let, give me a. Okay, just making sure things work. They work. Okay, so in in this and this is quite ugly. So that thing, this line, line twenty-two. Yep, I bet you there's a lot of questions in that thing. Kind of. Well, this is, um, oh, um, it 
C++ has has this thing called the one definition rule. And there's here's here's some information on that. Um, doesn't it? The <laughs> one definition rule. So any place that I want to use this, I put it in, yeah, and in, in C, in, yeah, C sharp doesn't have this sort of nonsense. This is a partic, this is a C++ particular type of nonsense. Uh, for example, cause I could put, this is a header file, that's what the dot H is for. So whenever I want to use it somewhere else in, in a CPP file, I include it, just like all these other ones, like include this. Uh, this is some, somewhat, it's approximately like a using whatever, but it isn't. Because from the compiler's point of view, I'll show you this. From the compiler's point of view, each one of these CPP files is its own thing. It, it compiles this CPP file, this CPP file, this CPP file. So if it needs something outside of it, you have to include a, I want to get my term right. I, it, you include the declaration, right? Is that, yeah. Yeah, because this is a declaration. This is a declaration. And then the other thing is a definition. I can define something exactly once. I can declare it as many times as I like. Does that, does that, it doesn't really help. That's a, it's a thing. It's a very C++ thing. But so each one of these CPP files is compiled into its own object file. And it goes, okay, well, I've compiled it into the object file, but I've got all these loose ends of this function that I included over here. These, all these functions need to have, you're, you're telling me, <coughs> this, this file has a definition somewhere and I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, yes, or, or similar. And then at the end, every one of these things, I can even show you that. Um, so for each CPP file, uh, there is an OBJ file for every single CPP file. Then at the end, right at the end, it takes all of those and it links them together and all the loose ends with the, this deck, did they look for the, this, this declaration is somewhere and then they go, okay. And then if they don't find one, that's called, uh, an, a, a linker error. And it fails to it fails to link. So there's two stages to compiling a C++ program. It is more complicated than it needs to be, but it has to do with the C legacy of C++. So there we are. And we now have mouse button up. Yeah, each well, as 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 we've learned, each language has its own particular bit of goofiness. And for for whatever reason, it's usually a historical reason. And if a language lives long enough, it winds up with something goofy that it does not respond to. You know, have mouse, and mouse button up area handler. We do, we can do that. So now, time to clean up the rest of this code because I don't need that. See, because okay.
Get right there. Start game. Don't need that. Cause I can make a I can do this. With a T. With capital T. That one's options. And that one is confirm quit. And then I can get rid of that one, and that one, and that one. Mm -hmm. This one I leave because it actually does two things. So that's a, okay, whenever I activate the about menu item, I go to go to about. And that says set the clipboard to the thing and then let's change to a different state of the game. So now this is much much better. Can I just set the command? Hold on. Is there like a command handlers I can set? Can I just? I think I can. Ooh. Oh wait, no, I already did it. So wait, wait, wait. So I don't need. So I don't need my own command. So I don't need you. You are gone. Boom. It's all right. Oh yeah. Look at that. So what I could do, if I did this, so I did activate item, bool, return true. All right, create item area. Then at this point though, I don't need I just say activate item. So I can do this, return activate item, and that should work just fine. Which means I only need activate item. Oh yes. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, we're down to we're down to eighty. We're on to eighty-two lines for this. Oop, what we got? I have a something. What's your problem? Okay. Oh, activate item doesn't quite work the same. So what do I want for a command handler? It needs to be a function void. I don't care about that, and that's not how that's going to work at all. So that's still not going to work. It needs to, so, static, void, activate, item. Or just can activate item with whatever. So, nope, we're going to go like this. And do the other activate okay activate item and return true should be so then function void void do the thing activate item build it and see if that it should that should work 
Uh oh. Oh, we don't have to confirm quit. Oh, right. Got to confirm quit. That's right. I got rid of that. So that's our problem. Do I need this then? Or can this be. Eh, it's fine. Up, I jacked it all up. Go me. Well then, yes, I'm going to do We'll call it Yep, on mouse button up. In area. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Is everything going to be fine now? Everything's going to be fine. So, yes, we have to leave that function. <clears throat> and that's okay. So, let's see the main menu work again. It does. And I can go to options. I can go back. Okay. And quit. Yes. So, yeah. All right. Well, 86 lines. But now, while I'm here, see how few of these I can get away with. Okay. So, string. Needs string. All right. But let's, let's start at the bottom. So, we need application renderer. need location command and the mouse button up and the mouse button down and visuals area but can I get away with anything else I need menus And common utility. Okay. So this is one of the this is one of the goofy things <clears throat> as a result of having to do including header files instead of uh, doing usings. Is that there's no real way to go, okay, take out what I don't need. In in C sharp there's actually a command control R, control G, which will go and Put any, anything that I'm not currently using, put it away. Just get rid of that. Clean that up. But now, mouse, mouse button up, motion application render visuals menu, visuals area, and um, I'm not sure in Unity what the control is, but in um, in Visual Studio, Control R, Control G, or you can, um, I don't have one open, but there's like a, uh, yeah, I can't do it here because I'm not in C, C, C. Control R, Control G. So you just hit, hold the Control R, G. And then any of the, any of your usings that you don't need just disappear. And it sorts them as well. So it's a nice way to clean up your code, but that can just happen automatically. But that's one of the one of the nice things that the C sharp language gives you. So now we're down to eighty four lines. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, isn't that nice? That's just like oh, you didn't need all that. But it's a it's a handy feature. Okay, cleaned up main menu uh, state. There, that's that's about as clean as she's gonna get. But now, 
but so now. How about state about? Anything? That's all that does. That one's good. Yeah, see this right here, uh, I should be able to do a very similar thing. And yeah, we got areas, right? Visuals, not virtual. Visuals, areas, handle, mouse button up. Layout name and what did we call you over here? On mouse button up in area. In area. And we need an on mouse button up in area. It really is the same. Same thing, which means I'm. Whoop, Z. Let's see. It's the same thing. Motion, where'd you go? The thumb up, let's button up an area on mouse motion in area. It's pretty much just about the same as well. Visuals, areas, handle, handle mouse motion, layout name, on mouse. On mouse motion and area, right? Which means that this goes away. So dot 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 dot. Yeah, that's it's a reasonable amount of code. Let's build it and let's make sure that it works. <clears throat> and pretty soon it's going to be time to mow my lawn because my lawn needs to be mowed. But I wait for seven in the morning before mowing on a Saturday. I don't have a thing I said on. I have, I have a gas powered. Those are fancy and expensive. I used to have one. But um, truth be told, I really kind of need the exercise. Okay, so let's let's. Double check, make sure everything works. Okay, go. Start a game. New game. Ben in the game. Ben in the session. Okay, we can say no. We can say Ben in the session and yes. Okay, cool. Yes. It's okay. Mouse area handlers in abandoned game state. Boom.
really this could be uh So I still on my app hacking plan thing, make a motion in your hand, I gotta march it out to the rest of the things is what I have to do. And but for a moment here I'm going to take a look at what else needs to go on. So I got some more. So I got some more things. So I know there's little, just little things in this. Because right now, if I go start new game, it has tooltip right there. You see that? See that tooltip? I can't even. It's, it's over. It's right over here. But it, so I, when I move, abandon. Yes. Quit. Yes. Only happens once. Only happens. Right after I hit start, a new game. The second I move the mouse, it's gone. But, um, that one's relatively simple. And state in play minimap. Go look for. So that's fine. So now. That'll be gone. Didn't even have to change code. Start new game, and now it's gone. And now it does stuff based on where I'm at. Let's go key, get booze. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Okay, so I click the key. And I should see a, a key thing. So if I go over here and I come back to here, so the second I pick up the key, I should see th this should update. But I did go okay. Tooltip for mini map starts out as blank. Minimap. So then, so there's there's also some other other things that go on. There's all kinds of just goofy little things. Whether start a new game. Let's. Oop, let's just bribe him with food. There's a key. So. So when I pick up a key, so there's one, two, couple, two things that happen. I pick up the key, the key tool tip is going to stay right where it is. It's not, that should disappear because I picked up the key. And in addition, over, over on, over right there, it should say keys one immediately upon picking up the key and I'm actually since I'm not certain so task so when I pick up a key the minimap key counter should immediately um, update we'll call that a bug. And when I pick up an item, I, the item hover tool tip should immediately become blank. And that's also a bug.
because this right here, if I go jewels, it stays there. But once I move, which is fine. Food. Prawn scroll. Oh, you didn't see the? Did you see the prawn scroll? <laughs> There's a prawn scroll. I've got two prawn scrolls. What is a prawn scroll? Uh, there are certain types of when you give prawn to them. Sometimes you can bribe people. You bribed him. You give him. You give him a. You give him a prawn scroll, which is a girly magazine. So, so you give them. You you give them prawn, and they go away. Sometimes you can bribe some of them with food, some of them with uh, with money, and some of them with prawn. So there you go. Oh, there we go. Because this guy, Shots. he doesn't care. He doesn't care about prawn. But you can give him food. It's not even necessarily the right amount. Okay, so. There's three. Yeah, okay, on entering a room, I'm going to write down some bugs here. On entering a room, the um, item count tooltip does not automatically update. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> to Google this, and <laughs> find it an intuitive item to use for bribing. Yes, you do. <laughs> Did I show you what happens when you drink booze? So here I am in here, and here's my trousers, and I got booze. If I drink booze, I suddenly go somewhere else. I've suddenly teleported here, and I no longer have my trousers. My trousers are somewhere. <sighs> so good times. <laughs> normal night out. Yes, that's a. It's very much a. Oh, you you drink booze. You don't have trousers. And then, oh, dude. Oh. Okay. We'll take all the things we can take. Got some wine. Got some food. Um, we're just gonna. I don't think he's gonna kill me. I think I can. I think I wander my way. Really. Okay. You're dead. You collected zero jewels. You lost your trousers again. It's literally just a game that shames you. Alright, I don't have anything to check in here. And so what I have to do is I have to get some breakfast so that I can... I have many, many regular IRL adulting style things to do but so but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our friend black mage
And that's what we're going to do. Because Black Mage is great. Everybody loves Black Mage, right? And he does really cool Unity stuff. And he's a really great artist. So, you have a good day as well, sir. And, uh, get off my lawn. <laughs>